Hello everyone, Britton here, also known as Samoki Dude, and today I am back with a new video, and uh, I'm going to be doing something a little different today, and it is my first day, official day, of being 22 years old. I am very excited, um, uh, my birthday was yesterday, so yeah, I turned 22, uh, again, if you want to wish me happy birthday, you can do that below, uh, but I'm going to be covering a, uh, I'm going to be doing something a little different, I'm going to be covering a movie, I'm going to be covering a, uh, a little short movie on YouTube that is from a channel that I'm a big fan of. I will link the video down below. We'll link the short movie if you want to go watch it. Um, it's by the guys who do Cinema Therapy, uh, which is a channel on YouTube where uh, these two guys, Jonathan and Alan, talk about, uh, well, therapy and cinema. <laughs> it's kinda, it is kind of self-explanatory. Um, but I really enjoy the channel, I really like their genuine enthusiasm for movies, and, you know, I, I, I have gone to therapy in the past, and I have to say, a, a lot of their stuff has, um, really, has impacted me in a way that, uh, it, it, you know, it's, it, I, I really like the wholesomeness of their content. I mean, I may like dark and disgusting stuff from time to time, but, you know, we all need that little bit of wholesome, too. And, you know, my little bit of wholesome that I like is cinema therapy. Now, I mean, you know, there are the stuff I would like them to cover in the future. Cough, cough. Shawshank Redemption, cough, cough. But anyways, I'm going to be covering the movie they made recently called Moonstruck, which I had heard about it for a while. Um, and I, I knew they had, like, stuff going on for it. I, I didn't really... I was really bad at paying attention... I'm really bad at paying attention to that stuff anyway. But I did see... That they put the movie out, I'm like, oh, that would make a great video. I could, uh, I could do a video covering the short movie. Now, what, what did I think of this movie? Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I have covered a short movie before, which is um, Chris or uh, C.A. Cox 97 short movie. Uh, um, We're not safe here. I'll link that in the description below as well. Um, uh, which was also a really good short movie. I have to admit, I did like. Uh, we're not safe here more than uh, this movie here, but I did really like Moonstruck. I think it was a very well done movie. Um, Alan does have some really genuine chops as a director, and um, after seeing this short movie, I really want to see more. I really would like to see what else he has um, up his sleeve. Hopefully he can get like more money and like a bigger budget for, well, that's the same freaking thing. But, I would really like to see um, this be done, like, as a feature. I would really love to see that, and I'm sure they would love to see that as well. They all, they did a, uh, they did an episode of, uh, Cinema Therapy, actually, about this exact film. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it stars Jono as, uh, the husband. His name is Rod, uh, a woman named Shauna Ray. May have gotten that name wrong. I apologize uh, if she ever watches this. I highly doubt it. But <laughs> you never know with these sort of things. Um, but I really enjoyed the movie. I, I think it was a really well-directed film. I really liked the atmosphere of the film. Uh, I will admit, it is a little, like, it's, it's a bit dark. So it really depends on what, like, you know, setting you watch it in. Like, if you watch it during uh, nighttime, that would probably look better. But um, I enjoyed the atmosphere. It's very well-directed. I really like uh, how the atmosphere of the movie has this sense of dread and tension throughout it, and you're just kind of on the edge of your seat. I even got jumped a few times, but then again, I, I am a very jumpy person, e even though I like horror movies. And don't ask. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. But, uh, I really enjoyed this. This this concept actually reminded me a lot of Bird Box, and uh, which is a book and a movie that came out a few years ago. It's a post-apocalyptic stuff about, you can't look outside. You can't look outside or you'll end up dying. Uh, this movie is a bit similar, except you look at the moon, and, um, you end up going crazy, pretty much. That's kind of the gist of the whole thing. Um, but I, but yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was a really fun movie. I especially was impressed by the music. Uh, I am sorry, I can't think of the name of the guy who did the music, if anyone wants to put it down below who, who did the music and all that. Um, please, feel free. Um... I, uh, I would really, I would really like to know, I, I, I forgot who did the music, and I apologize for forgetting your name, but you, whoever you are, you did a really great job with the music, and I really enjoyed it in this movie, I was especially, it was very, um, 
Uh, well, I don't really know what to compare it to, but it did its job just well enough, and I was really like, yeah, you know, I was really, it really helped to get me into the movie and get me into the atmosphere of the movie. Uh, again, I, I've said atmosphere. Take a shot every time I say that. Uh, I was also really uh, impressed by the acting. John O did a good job as uh, as um, the husband. His name's Rod. He's uh, very um, he's very creepy in the role. I I, I can't help but kind of uh, giggle a little bit when he's like, "Come over here. I I want you to see this." And I, I love the just cut where he goes, "Oh, you don't need to worry about that." You know, it's kind of creepy, but I just I, you know, it's 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 John O. He's he's too sweet for this world. But anyway, I really enjoyed him. I there's I like the little touches he put into the role. Uh, for instance, there's a scene where he goes, "Well, why don't you believe me?" And it almost sounds like he's actually like somewhere deep inside because he's all he's basically crazy because he looked at the moon. Somewhere inside of him, he's like genuinely hurt that she doesn't believe him. And I think that's a really neat choice. Um, the actress in this movie, Shauna Ray, did a really good job. Uh, I will admit, I did hear a couple of times, I heard her natural British accent kind of cut through uh, the American accent she was doing, but I did uh, I did enjoy her role in the movie. She's vulnerable, but she's also very strong, and, um, you know, she doesn't take this weird thing that's going on. She doesn't take it, uh, she doesn't take it lying down, let's put it that way. Try not to swear too much on this review here. Um... But uh, I really liked her in the movie. She was really good. Also, Alan's daughter, her name's Audrey, I learned. Uh, she did a really good job, too. I mean, it, it can't, it's not really that hard to tell it's it's Alan's kid because they both have very blonde hair. Uh, but she did a good job. She was she was great. You know, she um, not she wasn't terrible. <laughs> See, that sounds bad. Uh, she was pretty good. You know, child actors tend to get a bad rep, but uh, she did a very good job of what she was given. And, um, I really enjoyed her role in the movie, even though it's, like, a couple minutes. I, I do like the little touch that she's like, oh, stay there, and then she just runs off. I'm like, Jesus Christ, because that's exactly what I would have done when I was her age, because, you know, kids are, kids are stupid sometimes. But, mm. uh, I will admit there were some issues with the movie. Uh, just some bits I kind of were like, hmm, that could have been done a little better. But, you know, a lot of it kind of comes down to they had a limited budget and they did the best they could, so I can't really criticize it too much. And, I mean, look, I know how hard it is to make a movie. I made a rinky-dink short movie almost a year ago now. That's that's crazy. But you can go... I'll, I'll link that below if you want to watch that. It's it's really it's really quite corny. But I really, you know, it's, it was fun to make. But... Uh, <laughs> uh, I know how hard it is to make a movie, and that was, like, six minutes. This was, like, you know, 12 or 14 minutes, and, um, uh, it really was just, you know, there was the effects, the, the effects that I like to call them the disco eyeballs that, uh, John O had. I thought they, they looked kind of weird, but, you know, I think they're meant to look kind of weird, and again, a lot of that probably just comes to, they, they didn't have enough money to make it look better. But, you know, that's nothing against them. I love John and, you know, John, John O and Alan's channel. So I'm trying not to, like, you know, harshly criticize or anything. Um, and like I mentioned before, there are times Shauna Ray's uh, um, accent, which she's British. If you watch the, um, you watch the video they did about their own short movie, she's British. And uh, her American accent is pretty good for the most part. Like, 90%... 5% of the movie, it's good, but there are the occasion that her, that her, that her British accent kind of comes in, but aside from that, there's not really much else to say in terms of, like, critiques that I have of it, rather than, I really enjoyed this, I would really love to see this expanded at some point, um, I'm sure, I know Alan has mentioned that he would like to expand on this, I would really like to see that, because I, I think this movie does have some promise, I, I or at least I think the concept has a lot of promise. Um, plus, I'm a huge sucker for post-apocalyptic stuff, so you know, you know me. I love that stuff. Walking Dead, Sweet Tooth. Uh, I just read Station Eleven. I just finished Station Eleven just recently. Um, you know, so I love that stuff. Bird Box, even. I, I actually enjoyed the book. Uh, the movie was 
it was fine. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. I really enjoyed Moonstruck. I think this was a good movie. Um, go check it out, uh, and also go check out uh, Alan and Jonathan's channel. They're great. They make a lot of really, just really uplifting content, I think. And, you know, a lot of people might kind of raise their eyebrows, because, you, know, I, I, you know, I like a lot of dark stuff, but, you know, I, I also like uplifting stuff as well. And I think that these guys... Um, really are doing good work on YouTube, and I think they're spreading a great message, and um, I think you guys should check them out, and I think you guys should go check out their movie, because it really was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed I enjoyed watching it, I'll put it that way. Um, but I think that's all I have for today. I, 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 there's not really much else to say rather than I enjoyed this movie, and I think you guys should go check out Cinema Therapy, because, you know, they're pretty cool guys from where I'm at. I, I would, it, there were those, those, those two kind of guys I would really just like to hang out with and pick their brains about movies because, you know, I love film. They love film. I'm sure there would be a lot of conversation that would come from that. But, um, yeah, no, not really much else for me to say. Uh, I enjoyed the movie, and you guys can check it out. I'll link all that stuff below. Uh, check out my Twitter. I am very unfiltered on there. Uh, check out my Goodreads, Letterboxd. I write reviews on there that probably sound better than the one you just heard. Uh, I have a Discord, which is really needs some members in it to because I, I, I want to talk with you guys. So, yeah, please uh, join that. And that's really all I got to say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back and uh, see you guys later.